What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. So let me ask you a question. You have an awesome idea for a website, but then you sit down to actually start designing it and you're just staring at a blank canvas. That initial phase of figuring out the site map, the layout, the wireframes, it can honestly be the hardest part and a total creativity killer. But what if you could skip that whole painful process? What if you could go from just an idea to a full professional wireframe in Figma in literally minutes? Well, that's exactly what we're going to do today. I'm going to show you how to use this incredible tool called Reloom AI to instantly generate a complete sitemap and wireframes for a website and then send it all straight into Figma. We're going to take a simple prompt, build out a full design plan and get it ready for the final UI. This workflow is an absolute game changer for speeding things up, whether you're a designer or a developer. Okay, the first thing we need to do is visit reloom.io and log in. Once you've logged in, it's time to create a new project. So once you're inside of the new project you just created, you can over here on the sidebar, you can paste or type the description of the website you want to make in a sentence or two, or you can add more copy, I believe. Now, I'm not gonna provide my own web design um, description. What I'm gonna do is click here where it says try example going to use one to five pages and it's going to be in the English language and then I want to click the generate sitemap button and this may take a bit for Realm to generate the whole complete sitemap. I think it's uh, finished so we have here the first thing you'll see is under the project you'll see the home page with all the different sections it generated so not only does it generate the sitemap it also generated the different sections. It also created the about us, features, blog, the single blog post template, I would call this one, because if you're gonna have many blog posts, they're all gonna use the same design. So it's, it's actually a template. So I'm not gonna change any of these sections. You can add more. As you can see, when you click the, the plus button, you'll be able to use all of these different sections to be added so it looked like it looks like it generated even more sections is that right if i oh i clicked on do let's go back let's stick with these okay and now i'm going to click where it says the wireframe tab view wireframe and it's gonna start generating the wireframes. Now, because I'm using the free version, it's only gonna generate the wireframe of the home page. Okay, because here would go the other pages, the single blog post template, the blog page, the about us, and so on. So taking a look at the home page, I can see already that it generated the, the global sections. For example, here we have the nav bar, the hero section and taking a look at the hero section you can change the name of this section you can provide a description um, right you can change the layout by clicking where the header button is so there's all these different layouts you can choose and you just by hovering over them you'll be able to see a preview so you don't have to, to immediately click them in order to, to, to see what the layout would be, which is awesome in my opinion. Sometimes we just wanna see previews of um, these layout ideas. Going back, you can change the style. So each layout looks like we'll have a different um, asset and design incorporated that you can choose from and style, of course. So you can, I, we can choose this one, I can choose that one. I can change the asset that's gonna be on the right side to a video instead of an image. You can change uh, where the image and the text is gonna be of this hero section. You can, instead of using buttons, you can see a form. And also same thing, you can just hover over them, you'll see a preview as well. And you can also generate copy. So completely redo the copy of that hero section. 
So just by looking at this hero section, it's the same idea with the other sections. You can here as well inside of the wireframe, add another section and it'll provide a preview as well. Okay. And it classifies the global sections and all the different sections that are just going to be exclusive to that page in particular. Going back, um, what else? Um, you can also take a look at your other projects. Right now, we're only using the free version. You can preview how it's going to look, or you can change. You can, yeah, you can preview how this is going to look on a tablet, on mobile. You can zoom in, zoom out, right, to take a, a better look. Um, let's go back to desktop. Zoom out. And I'm not going to change any of the sections at all right now. Let's click on where it says uh, the style guide tab. And here, Rayloom is going to provide the colors, the typography for the heading, body, copy. Um, it's going to provide the UI styling for the buttons and for the cards and images. And you can also click where it says shuffle. You can change the site, the, the size of the typography. You can change these colors. You can see how your site will look on the dark and light theme. And this is something I'm not particularly sure which one is which, but it looks like this one is the dark. And but then we have sections that are light. So to me, that doesn't make sense. You can also click the shuffle button change the different colors. And over here, once you hover over these different sections in the style guide, you can see how it will look for different colors. And if you click this, it'll completely change to a different shade of that color for that section. You can also edit the images and upload what you want. So all of this can be done right here, which is amazing. Um, because this is very intuitive and very quick to, to make changes to and it'll be ready to be exported into Figma, which we'll do next. And you can also view the whole design and layout in desktop, in mobile as well. And when you click this, what's this surprise me? It looks like it's generating a concept. I don't understand that. Let's undo that. And then when you click where it says pitch concepts, you can click this copy link. And once you've clicked on the copy link, you can now share with clients, the executive team, um, the other developers to see if there needs to be any changes, whether it's to the style guide, wireframe, sitemap. Let's now click, let's go back. And now that we've seen what everything we can change here in the style guide, let's click where it says uh, design beta. I'm not completely sure. It's very similar to the, to the, to the wireframe tab, but with in the wireframe tab, there's no um, colors, typography images added. So let's go back to the design tab and you can still make changes here, right? You can keep adding sections, right? Um, keep making more changes like it says here scheme let's see what happens so it just uh, changes the main color right now let's try to import this into Figma so what I did is I installed Figma locally on my computer and then once I have it open I created a new design file I went to plugins and installed went to manage plugins and installed the Realum plugin, which is going to open up and it's going to ask me to open the Realum Figma kit. You click that, it's going to take a little bit to load. But once this finishes loading, it's going to say open Figma, which is going to open this Realum Figma kit design file. In, when, once you're in this Realum Figma kit design file, you go to plugins again, click on Realum. Here you'll see your projects associated with this email you're using in Figma. So the same email you're using in Realum 
has to be the same one you're using right now with Figma. So that's very important. Otherwise, you're never going to see the projects you just created in Realm here on Figma using the Realm plugin. So here, this is the project I just made in Realm called Cloudify. And you'll, you can also click this refresh button and then go ahead and click the, on the project and you can import any of these. You can import the design, the style guide, the wireframes, the sitemap. I'm going to import the design and it's just going to be the home page and click on continue and start import. And it's going to ask me a question. Will tailor your project setup to work seamlessly with Figma sites? No, I do not want to use Figma sites. Start import. And this may take, this may take a little bit of time for it to completely import the design. So now it's finished importing the home page into our my Figma software. Now it did take, I would say five minutes. Let's click on the done button. Close this Realm plugin. Let's move this over here somewhere. Sorry, we're just able to see it. I'm not able to see it. I do not know why. So it looked like it imported it inside one of these layers, which is what we don't want. So you may need to create a new layer and then import the actual design. So as you can see, here are all the different um, sections with their right color. And this is ready to be changed here in Figma with the different settings settings they have here inside of Figma. You can change the whole, um, the position, the appearance, anything you want. And this is also ready to be shared with developers to start creating the design and publishing it.